Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to SideQuest. Finally, we have the Quest 3 update for QuestCraft. I know that I and a lot of other Quest 3 players have been waiting for this QuestCraft update for a long time, and I'm happy to report that the installation process is easier than ever. So we've put together this handy guide to help you get it up and running in no time. Amongst the improvements included are improvements to performance and bug fixes, Boosted frame rate from 45 to 120 frames per second, that's a 169% increase. There's improved mod compatibility and resource utilization, which means more mods and new worlds to explore. A redesign of the Questcraft launcher for better accessibility and quality of life. And also, support for the original Oculus Quest, meaning you can now play Questcraft on Quest 1, 2 and 3. Before we get started, I should remind you that while Questcraft is free on SideQuest, the original Minecraft is not, and you will need to buy it to avoid piracy and ensure that everything works correctly. You'll need to buy the Java version and sign up by creating a Microsoft account, and we'll need those details later to sync everything up. I'll slap the link to download Minecraft's Java version in the description of the video below. But now, let's get started. First up, you'll need to sideload Questcraft onto your Quest 3. You can do this by using the SideQuest desktop app or by using our in-VR app, whichever you prefer. If you're on desktop, just make sure that your Quest is plugged in and connected to your device by checking for the green dot in the corner of the screen. And don't worry if SideQuest looks a little bit different when you try this out. We were going through a redesign at the time we recorded, so we've had a bit of a facelift since then. But the search function should work exactly the same way. Search for Questcraft in the search bar, open the listing, and click the big button that says Sideload. You can't miss it and this will install Questcraft onto your headset. It's that easy. Next, if you're not already wearing your headset, pop that on, go to your apps list, and then filter for unknown sources. You should see that Questcraft has appeared in the list, so go ahead and open it up. Click the Sign In button and you'll get this short message telling you to head to microsoft.com forward slash link to link your Microsoft account using the code that's displayed here in red. And once again, you can do this on your computer or from the Meta browser in your headset. And we're gonna use that now. Head to the address and you'll be asked to input your code. So type it in here exactly as it appears. And once you've done that, you'll be asked to complete your Microsoft account sign in. This may require you to verify your identity, but just follow the simple instructions for whichever method they require. And it should take you no more than one minute to complete. You might you might get a pop-up saying that something went wrong after you input the code, but you can go ahead and ignore that. Close the browser, go back to Questcraft, and click sign in. It should work. Once you're here, make sure you're on the latest version of the game before you start playing. Click play, and it will start installing all of the files needed for the latest version. You may need to wait a little while as it does its thing, but once the numbers have stopped crunching, click play again, and the game will boot up. Once again, be patient with it at this stage while it loads, but it takes just under one minute and then you should be ready to go. From here, you can create a new world to play in solo, join your friends for some multiplayer, experiment with different options to customize your experience. It's got everything that you would expect from Minecraft on your PC. This new version is so much quicker and easier to install than it used to be, but hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and now you are ready to dive into the many worlds of Minecraft on your Quest 3 with Questcraft. Now, I'll catch you later. I'm off to get lost in the game for the next, oh, 10 years or so. Bye-bye, social life. Hello, sweet, sweet Questcraft.